Phil from Watch a Scroll. I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, some of the uses um, Watch a Scroll has around the holiday season. Um, one good use is using Watch a Scroll for fresh cut Christmas trees. Now it works really good um, in, in preserving the tree and, and actually um, spurring on some growth. Uh, one story comes to mind, um, the, the Weiderman family that uh, used to own the historical restaurant in Jacksonport, Wisconsin, the Ivanhoe, cut a, uh, a, a white pine for a Christmas tree, now, this was back in the 80s, um, and had it on display in the dining room of the restaurant. Uh, they use watch a scroll specifically for feeding, and uh, that tree was actually growing in its holder until into July. And uh, finally, Polly said, Well, that's enough. I mean, having a Christmas tree around until July is more than what we need. So, so they ended up taking it down. But, but this is just one of the stories. I mean, the watch a scroll can actually have that tree continue to grow. Um, the way you want to use it is, you know, for, for, for fresh cut trees. I mean, if you're going out to cut your own tree, this is where you're going to get the best result. Uh, you go out, you cut your tree, uh, mix up uh, a diluted solution. Remember, always, always uh, dilute watch a scroll because it's a, it's a concentrate. Um, you want to mix one tablespoon and a gallon of water. Um, spray the tree down after you cut it. Spray all the, all the branches. Um, and allow it to dry outside. Um, after that, you want to cut a portion of the trunk off because uh, from the time you cut it until you know you're actually setting it up in your house, um, it kind of hardens off where it was cut. You want that to be a fresh cut so that it can take up its food easily. Um, same thing with the holder. You want to uh, mix one ounce or one. I'm sorry, one tablespoon. In a gallon of water and, and use that in the holder. Um, put your tree in and let it go. Um, the one thing is though you don't want to ever let that holder run dry of water because uh, you know then the same thing is going to happen from the time that when you cut it it's going to start to harden off and it's not going to be able to take up that that food um, the way it should. Um, I, after that, I mean, you can, the tree's going to do fine. Um, like in the case with Polly and the Weidermans, uh, when he had his tree on display there, that, that thing had three to five inches of growth on every branch. I mean, stuff's outstanding. It works great. And, you know, when you're, if your tree is kept alive, there's less chance of it losing needles and being a fire hazard. So um, uh, for Christmas trees, it works wonderful. Uh, give it a try. You'll love it. Thanks.